Greetings and welcome back everyone to Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together. Now in the last battle, we cleared out Reboom Aqueduct and some squid that kind of gave me a little bit of cause for concern, but ultimately didn't end up being that bad. Now let's have a quick look through the one report. Nothing new in there. Okay, very well. Now we do have a couple of new items and I would like to take the time to set those up. Specifically, I would like to give you... Let us auto-equip you for defense. The air... Ooh, really? I'm not sure you should have a rapier. I believe that you've got the hammer skill, so... Although that would be a better item for you to have in terms of being safe, I want you to have a hammer. Ooh, I've got a new Morning Star. Oh, well, that's quite nice, actually. It drops our defense only by one point, but wow, look at the difference. If we go for this hammer and then compare it to the Morning Star, that's a very big bonus. I mean, we lose a little bit of our defense, but that is a huge, huge gain. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so that's our night. Now, how many. Did we have any more Aspices? I'm not sure. Oh, that we did. No, we did not. How many other people? Actually, let me go in there and uh, have a look through. Oops. Apparently that button speeds things up, I'm guessing. Uh, two... Two people who need better shields. Alright, the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to head back here. And we are going to go to the shop. Now, I'm not sure if there's any possibility of random encounters. And if there are, well, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, we're going to buy... We've only got 400 goth. Let me sell some things first, then. Um, anything we have a lot of that we don't need? Got a battle axe I don't particularly want to have. Oh, okay. How about other things? Um, no, I, I kind of want to keep that, honestly. I could sell some of the... Well, you know what? Let's just sell the spears straight off the bat. We'll sell some of the halt hammers. Um, oops. Two of these. Up to 6,000. That might be enough for what we need. How much are the... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we can definitely afford it. We only need two, after all. Now, there are things that I can craft now as well. Crafting. You won't be crafting anything without a recipe, young master. Well, will you sell them to me? Sundries? Recipes? Greedy recipes. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Codex of textiles. Allows production of cloth from a variety of fibers and processing of beast hides. Codex of timbers. Codex of ores. Codex of jewelry. Smithing armor. Allows crafting and strengthening a variety of armor for the novice crafter. Yes, I think we shall. We have no more money. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at this. Smithing armor. I need... Okay, wood, ingots, nectar, various things. All right. Ah, I'm liking this. We're going to be able to start looking at really improving our stuff. Oh, success rate. Uh, I always hate the one when you've got success rates. Uh, bucklers, they're really low down, it seems. I won't sell all of them, but I'll sell a good chunk of them. Um, got so many of these. Uh, likewise here. Uh, that's giving us some decent money now. There we go. And same with leather gloves. Oh no, let's not do that actually. Um, linen slops. I very much doubt we're going to use that. I'm only keeping a few of each one simply in case it's like a low level class that needs them. Alright. Oh, we can just flat up buy the ingredients. Um, I want to buy ingredients, please. Uh, no, not melee weapons. Oh, range weapons, perhaps. Yeah, okay. Also, codex of jewelry. Oh, go on then. I'll buy them all. Uh, 
Now, that is going to be nice. Let's see about crafting. Code active ores. We've got all sorts of things. We can make all kinds of different ores. Require different amounts of various stuff. Uh, to make bronze ingots, we need copper ore, tin ore. Gemstones we can make. That's actually quite cool. We can use inferior ore to make the lower class ores. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cool. Timber. Just logs. Okay, so make whatever wood we want. And then the various hides. Alright. Well, let's actually, yeah, let's have a look at our ranged weapons. Currently, I've got a short bow. I would very much like to improve this. We could increase. We need two tonia wood. Alright. Let's go get some of that. Shall we go ahead and craft this item? Yes! Am I going to have to do this for every single one? Can I... Can I not just say... Make me loads of it! Oh, no. Okay, well... For this one, I'll just do this because it's fairly easy to do, but... <laughs> that will grow very, very frustrating. Um, okay, let's try and make it. Basically, I'll convert a load of resources into the base, comp uh, into the refined components, ready for crafting, and then we'll just try to craft the weapons on screen in the future. There we are, short bow plus one. I am very, very happy about that. I'm much more happy than I should be, I suppose. Uh, okay, we need iron ingots there, uh, Bernie wood, longbows. We've got two of them. Go on then. These need more. Can I skip this in any way? That is, why would they not allow me to make like a batch of these? I guess because they may, because as there's a, a chance of failure, I guess that would be part of it that's playing in, but still kind of annoying. Um, iron sand, I, iron ores. I can make two. How many do I need for the longbow? I just need one iron ingot, so that's okay. Just want to see how many ores. Ah, oh, I need three per. It's kind of rubbish. Come on then. Just one though. No, oh, come on. Damn it. I'm scuppering my own plants. Well, get to upgrade one of the longbows. Oh, we actually got more out of that. That was actually kind of cool. I guess there may be a critical success chance. We've got... Oh, what do we not have? Oh, we need two hemp and thread. Ah, scallywags. Can I make some hemp and thread? I cannot. Alright, well, let's buy some hemp and thread, then. Any hemp and thread? There we go. I'll buy one. I guess I'll, I'll just do a lot of uh, purchasing of the various items. In fact, I'm fairly certain I needed two ores, didn't I? No, I needed uh, an extra piece of wood. Well, the timber is easy enough to make, at the very least. Did I read that right? Actually, I'm fairly certain I did not. Um, no, I... Hmm. Sorry, but you don't have all the ingredients. What ingredient am I missing? I've got the longbow. Oh! Ah, I see. I need to uh, take the longbow off one of my party. Very well. Sorry about the derp there. Give you a short buffer now. There we go. Okay, 79 to 85% chance of success. Please be a good one. And there we are. Fantastic. I approve enormously. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, set up my archers. Without your bow, you're so much faster. Apparently, I have them organized based on how quickly they will get a chance to act. 
Let's go with a longbow. That's quite a nice difference. Wow, that's a really, really nice difference. Yes, please. Okay, crafting is definitely worth taking time for. I imagine I'm going to be doing a lot of this. I'll probably be buying most of the ingredients, though. Just because the rigmarole of crafting it, but we'll see. Let me just uh, have a look over that again. We'd actually lose a lot of damage potential there. Wow. Okay. Not bad at all, I feel. Not bad at all. We're going to go at least for one more fight, though, before I worry about uh, everyone's skills. Build up a little bit of skill points before we start looking at that. Okay, I'm very happy with this group. Uh, let's go. Now, I believe this is an area that was locked, uh, unlocked by reading Ravnus's report in the Warren Report. A bit of fog or something there. The road to Kuritanai is long. Why take her all that way? She's for the gallows at any rate. I say we have done with it here and now. Orders is orders. Commander Luxarian is to have a proper hearing before her justice is meted out. And is it not some opposition nobleman who spares her? Why do you suppose they go to such lengths to keep her from harm? They say there's Galgast uh, Galgastani blood in her. Might be that blood is bluer than most. And her crime is twofold. For she is a kinslayer besides. I see no Galgastani before me. Only a Wallister knight. Oh, thought bubbles. The Wallister named me a Galgastani traitor, while the Galgastani claim I am a Wallister knight. Enemy to all, friend to none. Oh, she looks so forlorn as well. The Galgastani can't so much as ask a prisoner without a quarrel. No wonder the country splits in two. Ooh, that's possibly a bad thing to say whilst they're actually arguing about just flat out killing you. Maybe that's what she wants. Silence her! <laughs> okay, I'll silence her! Everyone is lazy. I'll have a much easier time guarding you if you would guard your tongue. It'll mean my neck if I don't bring you back safe to Corrie tonight. Sir Alfred, it's the Wallace there. That's my chance. What? How? Is that Ravnus? Why is my speech bubble coming from one of the archers? Get out the way! Damned woman! She sealed her own fate. We've caused enough to kill her now. Kill Kinslayer and rebels alike. We're not rebels. Oh, well, I guess we are from your perspective. Vanquish Alfred. Very well. If you mean to seize me as a traitor, then do so. I'll return to your duties. Tarry here too long and your master may wonder at your absence. You're a friend, then. I cannot leave you... Well, hmm. I'm not sure. I can't leave you here. Um, now, I'll, I'll just get this out of the way. I am aware that there are certain, like, branches that you go down with the dialogues, and you, to, to have someone as being recruitable, you do need to pick very specific branches, but I have gone to quite considerable lengths, actually. Even so far as immediately closing an email the moment I saw that they were saying, choose option, it was like, nope. And then politely responded saying, thanks, but uh, can you give me this list of where, which battles I should look to for... Um, recruitable characters without telling me how to recruit them because I don't want my my choices to be influenced in that way if I choose the wrong option I realize that a lot of completionists will be heartbroken especially if I lose powerful characters as a result but my enjoyment of the game will be greater if I can just rationalize the choices and pick the ones that I think Denim would pick in the situation without worrying about what is the game correct choice but uh I cannot leave you here. Uh, that's fairly neutral. I don't know. Are you a friend then? Uh, that seems harsh on two two corners. One, you're a friend then. Uh, it is almost accusatory in a way. And I'm not really sure that she is a friend. And I don't think Denim would... I think it would almost be insulting to call her a friend at this point. She's clearly made it absolutely crystal that she doesn't like what we did. And she, she tried to fight us. She, she did leave in the end, but... 
I don't know. It, it seems like very presu presumptive and also a uh, presumptuous. Sorry, and also I don't know. It, it's I don't think she wants to be associated with us in that sense. But at the same time, friend or no, she was a, kind of a companion. We fought battles alongside each other, so we can't leave you here. But that also leaves us open to us to say, well, we're going to take you back to the Duke. The Duke, as far as I'm aware, hasn't bade that we capture her, so we're going to leave that open. So I'm going to go with, I cannot leave you here. Just hope for the best. <laughs> Wherever your loyalties lie, I can't simply leave you here to your fate. Okay, that's actually a good interpretation, because I, I was a little bit uh, concerned about that response because it was open to my own interpretation on how Denim was meaning it, but uh, it looks like Denim was going the, the path that I intended. Not words I'd expect from a man with the blood of Balma Musa on it. Oh, oh, did you have to bring that up, Ravnus? But still, only words. Believe me or not, as you will. He speaks plain enough. Perhaps the horrors of that day have wrought some change in him. I think I shall see for myself. Oh, she's facing the enemy now. Does that mean she's on our side? Ravnus, they didn't hurt you, did they? Abuna Donalto. Oh, oh that's a cut cool that the different secondary characters also have, like, dialogue between them. When I hear the Galgastani have captured you, I feared the worst. Abuna Donalto, you speak with such sincerity. I half believe you're worried. Oh, that's harsh, Ravnus. I deserve that. I've not forgotten the way we treated you at Balmanusa. Treated her? We went to great lengths not to hurt her. But believe me, I want only to save you. To save me, you say? Well, I do believe you, actually. Only I wonder, what form this salvation? I do not think to mend the wound in your heart, but I can help save your life. And where there's life, it is always hope for salvation. Spoken as a priest. Okay, well, uh, let's get to the fight now. This may well be a situation in which I go straight for a kill. If for no other reason than... I can't control Ravnus, I can't control Courtier. So, if things start looking hairy, then wrapping the fight up as fast as possible will probably be the best thing for me to do. Okay, you've got two mages. Oof. That I don't like seeing, I'll be honest with you. That's actually kind of terrifying. Let's go for the high ground, see if we can snipe. How far out can we shoot this? This glorious weapon we've got. Wow, you can actually get that really far. Okay, that's good to know. That's very good to know, actually. Your longbows are also going to come into uh, in very handy here. Let's see if we can smack some people in the face. Almost. Maybe? No, just shy, but very nearly. I approve. Okay, they've got one healer. Is it just one healer? They've got three archers, by the looks of it. Three warriors, a knight, possibly two knights. Okay, this is going to potentially be a difficult battle. I will be ready to kill the leader as a matter of priority. I'd rather not, but I, I want to see how's this terrain. Go up there, 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 perhaps. Uh, I may be able to get you up there, yeah, so we're going to go this way for now. My denim, I want you far forward. You're quite a defensible warrior. You've got no particular perks that give you really great staying power, but you seem to dodge an enormous amount of attack, so that'll come in handy. If I get a chance to further focus in that sort of way, the more uh, uh, like defense through agility rather than defense through you know plates of armor, and I probably will. Ooh, well done, Ravnus. Though I don't like you being that far forward when none of my healers are. Can we get some healing going on there? That is very important question. Not a chance. Okay. I need to get my clerics down there super, super fast. I really need to get some people with uh, lobbers and the ability to throw potions a great distance. Or consumables, rather. I'll keep calling them potions when really I mean consumables. But 
I, I'm definitely going to have to see if I can get Field Alchemy up to that point. Because I feel that it's going to be a massive, massive help. Okay, that's about as far as we can go. We could probably hit Alfred. We can hit you. 59 points of damage, or we can hit you for 59. Yeah. Make Ravnus' job a little bit easier. Though, actually saying that... Okay, I've just made a tactical error there, and I'll explain what it was. Ideally, I want Ravnus to be stuck fighting something that's far ahead of the rest of the pack for as long as I can keep her there, because she's going to be taking less damage as a result. What I don't want... Really? Can I not get back there? Well, that is greatly disappointing. Okay. Well, I've made a bit of a m mistake there, then. Unless I can get up over that and... Uh, it's going to take us a lot of time. No, the bow that you've got will be good enough... As is, I think. And let's get you forward. I want some heals and ravenous, please. There we go. But the uh, mistake is that ultimately, I, it's actually better for me to keep her fighting something that's not going to do a lot of damage to her while I wipe out the more powerful things that are taking time to reach her from behind. Overall, I think that is the stronger strategy there. So, no more going for you, as tempting as it may be, because it would be a kill. Oof, that is a lot of damage. I could almost hit the leader. Almost. But 73 points of damage on their archer is going to really hurt them. Fantastic. That bow upgrade. Wow. All right, Denim, you need to get down there. You need to start backing up Ravnus. I mean, you were following orders, so, I mean, it's not you've done anything wrong, but she is kind of in this horrible situation, at least partially because of your involvement. Okay, they've moved forward to meet us. And the knight has moved in to help the archers. I am going to try and finish the battle by killing everyone, but if I have to, then we will be having... Um, yeah, we'll go... No, can you not move that way? Oh, right, there we are. If we have to, I will be having... My arch is just primary the knight. I'm fairly certain that we're going to be able to put down so much firepower that they will die. You know, within like one or two rounds, maybe even only one round. Fairly confident in my archer's abilities at this point. But that is a lot of firepower there. Okay. So Aditha, uh, or Aditha is a healer. Good to know. Don't think I need to apply any more healing right now. I'm also a little bit concerned about having all of my units stacked up like this. Oh, Ravnus. I mean, that's cool, but you've literally just turned your back to the enemy. Why? It hurts my brain to imagine why you did something so dumb. You are now... Uh, this, you're making it hard for me, Ravnus. I'll be honest with you. Can we... No. Uh, let's go for this. We've got barely any life there. Can I actually hit you? Or am I going to hit everyone else in front of you? I fancy I'll hit everyone else, so... You know what, yeah, just, just take them around. They're no longer a threat. They're no longer helping us by being alive in any way. Alright, the enemies have moved forward a little bit, so we may be able to get a shot in. Now, you haven't got an upgraded Lombo, which is a shame. But you can still hit them for 37 points of damage. Wow, those upgrades. Such a difference in the damage output. Okay, what are you doing? Indomitable Will. Battering Ram? Oh, okay. No idea what that is. I suspect it's something bad. Yes, I want you higher bit more advantage from there. Tremendous shot as well. We're going to lay down as much damage as we can, as fast as we can. We want to try and take out their healers and their range as a matter of priority. Uh, 90 points of damage on you. 121. I can kill the healer in one shot. 109. Let's go for the healer. If we can actually do this for one shot, one kill. Fantastic. One healer down already. Well, 
this is actually one of the better moves you can make anyway, so go ahead. Oh, Scallywise, I didn't equip the shields. <laughs> Just realized when I saw his shield. Uh, I was so, so drawn up in the crafting that I completely forgot about equipping the better gear that I bought them. At least I equipped the better weapons. Vitality is always nice to have. Um, but I'm a little bit frustrated about that. 